Exactly. Uh, good afternoon, my time. Good evening. Good morning. Whatever part of the world you are joining us from. Nice to have you guys here. All right. So today's live trading session is just going to be me explaining how to be successful in financial markets in general and also how to think and how not to think as a forest trader. So these are the three topics I'm going to be playing around with. How not to think as a forest trader, how to think as a forest trader. I'm just going to be talking to them, talking about them side by side and also how to be successful in general. So how to approach the market. I'm not going to take too much time. So let's do this real quick. Comment your location in the chat box. Let's go. Let's go. Comment your location on your name in the chat box. Your name and location. All right. Uh, nice. A lot of locations already. Uh, got people from Dubai, Kwai Bomb. Uh, no, this is a lot. Guagualada, UK, Wari, Nigeria, Abuja, Kogi, Delta. You guys are just amazing people. So go. The who are represented, Abuja guys, Kenya, just or weary. Now there's a lot of people right here. You guys are welcome today. It's super excited to always have you guys here on the call every uh, Mondays. Every Mondays is nice. So now let's go. Let's go. Mm. You have other people from the Netherlands. You have people from all over the world, guys. Dubai, Jos, Anambra, Cameroon, Guagualada, Kano, Zambia, PH City, Spain, Bauchi, Ghana, Lagos, uh, Cross River, Cameroon, Kenya. Uh, okay, nice. So let's get started. In today's live call, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys quick tip how does it take but before we go there let me show you my current chart so last last week i was able to average about one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars in profit i think so there about last week all right on the big account meanwhile on the small account i'm trading i think i was able to make cumulatively five thousand dollars the account is twenty thousand dollars so i was able to make five thousand dollars on top of my twenty thousand dollars i mean that's a decent amount of profit that's right there but i know i could do more and I could also, there are times that market might not play well in our, in our favor, but then I'm always targeting wanting to do more, all right? So that's what market always want to bring to you. Forex trading is like this. It's like, there are times that you make small, there are times that you make big. There are times that you make nothing at all, and there are times that you take crazy losses too. So one thing that is sure is you still have to want to think the same way as that when you're taking profit so, i think the same way as that when you're taking the big wins sorry excuse me you also have to think the same way you're taking huge profits and also think the same way when you're taking smaller profits so these are the things that you want to look out for in the long run all right so you wouldn't want to let the result or the outcome the profit or the losses determine your mood or determine your mindset your approach you would want because you're making money that's oh forest is legit no or because you are losing, you say, oh, forest is a scam. It's not legit. No, you don't want to be there. Instead, you treat it as your normal business. Just as your normal business, whether or not you lose money, you know that, okay, this business is just business, right? It's just that sometimes business can go bad. That's how you should be looking at it. But some of you don't want to look at it that way. Some of you look at it as a means of getting rich quick in a, in a small amount of time. And then if things don't play out in, say, in one week that you've projected, then boom all hell let loose and then you start calling all sorts of names so you have to give time to play now i've been trading for over seven to eight years now and i can categorically tell you that i've trained people from zero all right from where they are like knowing nothing about what is forex they don't even know what is forex what is peak they don't know anything so you're making money consistently and some of these guys you see with me every now and then on live session these are some example of the guys Check them back a couple two years, three years back. I'm making a crazy amount of money from the financial market. I would live a financial free life. I mean, that's why most of us we are here. Over 1,000 people right now on call. All right. So that's why you guys are here, correct? So that's what I want to share with you guys. Let me share my screen and then you guys can see what we are on up for, for today. 
So for those who are pretty new to forex trading, you might look at this and say, what is all this kind of, everything is so, so scattered. It is, it is not. Come your next down, let me explain for this. Bit. Just give me 15 minutes of your time. Let me explain the basics in a simple step. So forex is just the buying and selling of two currencies. Let me do one settings. Maybe that might make you understand it better. It's just simply the buying and selling of two currencies. Simple. So whenever you see someone say that he's buying a particular currency pair. Oh my God, sorry. Um, when you might, might hear someone says he's buying a particular currency pair, just know that there's he's selling to buy something else. If he's buying GBP, just know that he's either selling USD. All right, it is the buying and selling of two currencies. Now I'm trying to look for uh high and low bid indication of financial price. There's a particular setting I want to talk on so you guys can see uh the price at the back end. Yeah, so I put this watermark so that you guys can know the pair that are changing. This chart that we're in on now, yeah, is GBP USD. What this simply means is forex. First, let me explain forex in simple terms. Is exchanging one currency for another. So it's always involved two currencies. So when you are exchanging GBP for USD, that's forex trading, all right? Obviously, GBP, one GBP cannot be equal to one dollar if the price is not so in the market. So there will be the slight difference. So also one Naira cannot be equal to, like as of the time of today, one Naira is not one dollar. So, but instead, one dollar as of today is 767 naira so that fluctuation in price that's where we, how we make money as forex traders so what you want to have in mind is anytime that you're in forex market you are either buying one currency to sell the other or you are selling one to buy the other one so the first pair you can you always notice that you're always in pairs this is gbp this is great british pound and usd so the first two letters represent the country's name and then the last letter rep represent the currency name so gbp is great british pound then us united states dollar d for dollar that's what it means and then this 15 simply means we're on currently on the 15 minutes time frame so if i switch to one hour now she's going to change to one h all right one h so if we are buying gbp usd it simply means we are saying pound is going to be is going to go up it's going to be strong pounds economy great british economy rather is going to be strong rather than usd as at a particular time that you are doing you did your analysis that is a simple meaning so if you say sell gbp usd what you're saying is gbp is going to be weak it's going to be weaker than dollar after that particular period of time so if you are correct in your in your analysis then you get to make money based on the lot size you put in and other factors that you also get to learn in the beginners session so if you want to really know the details the nitty-gritty of how this beginner thing work how what are you actually buying in financial market? Are we just making money from thin air? What's actually going on? What is the best time to trade? Is it a legal market? Are you sure this is sustainable? Can I lend this and have as my side of all your answers are here at this back? And guess what? It is free, it's accessible to everybody. All right. The only way you don't want if you can't access this thing is if you don't want to learn. It's open. Just come to this website. I'm gonna drop it now in the chat box. Come to that website, you'll be able to have access to all of that detail. Okay. That is what it is. Now, let me now go. Let me go ahead and, and share with you guys what I'm looking at for today. Am I, am I going to be looking forward to buy or I want to sell today? Okay, before I do that, let me let uh, Tochi, are you ready? Amazing. So, Tochi, you are currently live. How's it going? Fine, sir. I'm good. Amazing, amazing. So, what's, what's the schedule like today? I noticed that you didn't really draw so much signals last week. What, what's the problem? okay yeah i'm i'm not just used to it like sharing from whatsapp group to telegram i'm not just good like used to telegram space like that so yeah okay yeah all right so we hope this you are you are, you are learning to adapt right this coming yes exactly you get to do more for us please i know some morning people now they are on the i've seen a lot of messages why is touching us dropping his fire signals why is he not dropping his fast and i'm like chill pew relax <laughs> my guys are coming for you my guys are coming for you so amazing yeah. Please, can you take it away introduce yourself and tell us what we should be looking out for on gold today and okay um, good morning good afternoon good evening from whichever part of the country you're joining in from i'm 
Sam Otushi. And this is my mentor here, Sir Jeffrey Benson. Yeah, I trade major league gold. I trade gold, yeah. So I would do a quick, maybe a, a top down analysis, a quick breakdown of what I'm looking at on gold. I think that that would be okay. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, hey. uh, a lot of opportunity coming up this week. I'm seeing lots of money to be made this week. I'm seeing a lot, lot. There's money on the floor right now. And no one is even parking. Everybody just watching me in the live session. No one is taking action. We don't want to be there. Okay. I don't know if you can see my screen now. Uh, I think, yeah, we can, we can, we can. Okay, amazing, amazing. So um, this is currently like what is happening on gold now. Um, let me start from the weekly time frame because I like starting from the bigger time frame. So it will be more clearer maybe before we get down to the smaller time frame. So we'll understand why it's currently doing this or that. Let me clear the chat a bit. Okay. So um, this is the weekly time frame. So this is where gold is currently at on the weekly time frame. So for those that already know how my strategy works, it's more of like a break and retest. I'm more like a break and retest type of trader, yeah? So when gold broke out of this particular level, it came back to, yeah, retest this level. And, you know, I like saying this a lot, that gold respects zones. Yeah, it respects zones. It pays attention to zones a lot. So now after coming to this level if you should look up again because since it has retested here it should at least go to a particular level before dropping because of our role here we are seeing a downtrend let me reduce it you see that it tested this particular level three times this particular zone here uh, this particular one here first touch when it came to this one it dropped went back there again it dropped it's at that level again which we are expecting a drop again okay so um still back on that weekly time frame let me still zoom it in so since it has come back to retest this level i remember on our last life we we're anticipating gold to still drop into this particular point which it did now so this is where we're anticipating at least for that retracement that wants to happen it should get to at least this level first let me bring that line here yeah so this particular point before any drop continues to this particular place this is where we are anticipating gold to get to before continuing to the downside that is if it should go down to this if it wants to continue down to continue down sorry so it should at least get to this particular level so let's go down to the daily time frame so on the daily time frame we are seeing a separate zone on its own which i would adjust and explain why it's like that so on the daily time frame this is its own low where gold just broke out of after arranging it broke out of this particular level so it's going back to retest it's just like something like this um it's more like it came down went back up broke out now going back to retest to continue to the downside yeah to the downside because we are still anticipating more drops from on gold um let me take that off okay so so I, I, I would like to even adjust this this particular zone to fit with that particular one. Remember, this the one that was here was from the weekly time frame. So let me adjust it to fit with this of daily time frame because this is the one that is most likely going to activate first before that of the um, weekly time frame. Let me adjust it very well. Remember, I like putting it where the body of the candle starts and not on the week. Just take notes. It's more because when I put pending orders, this is most likely where my pending order would actually be. So let me make it more like a zone. Yeah, it's more like a zone now. Okay, so um, that's it on this one. And also, this is its own low, which it created now, and it's like going straight up. So I just map out those on the daily time frame, the recent high and the recent low it just created now. So now this is the anticipated level where we are anticipating is to get to so since this is way i'm expecting more of sales let me still come to the four hours time frame okay since this is the zone where i'm expecting sales so i would also come to the four hours and see if it fits 
that of the daily time frame to see what's most likely going to happen. So on the four hours time frame, at this point here, there is no zone here, right? There is no level here, which and where we are seeing four hours zone is at this point. So this is one of the the main issues here, where by people would maybe set a trade and only for it to hit the, the out and later start coming going to their direction going to their direction so on the four hours time frame this is the one we are actually seeing here this is it here where retracement happen before that push to the downside this is here got it out so that's that's from that four hours time frame i remember on the weekly time frame we adjusted this zone Remember it. This was where the weekly time frame was, so it's it's most likely close to that particular one on the four hours. You understand? This is it here on the four hours time frame. This one was the one we drew from the daily time frame when we adjusted it. Remember, this one is from the weekly time frame. You understand? And it's close to that of the four hours time frame. This is it. Let me zoom it very well. You see it here. So this is what price is most likely going to do. Let me show you. Yes. Um, let me let me adjust it. Well. So this is once price comes to this particular level. Let me draw it as a zone too, so that we get. Because once price comes to this level, you need to see reactions. This kind of candlestick reaction that would play out on those zones that you know okay, it's time for me to go for that sell. You understand that particular sell. For me to go to for that sell but remember this is a bigger time frame and it might take like it might take long before price gets to that level so does it doesn't mean we would not see trade or won't you understand wait till it gets to this level yes we know patience is key in forex and all that let me take this one out and pay attention to that of the weekly and um four hours time frame so does it mean we won't see trade to till price get to this point I know I know some people that are really good in being very patient with with, <laughs> with the chat, but this is what is most likely going to happen. So one price gets to this zone. Yeah, we know this is that from the bigger time frame. So it should be more strong than this of the smaller time frame. You understand? So this is what it's most likely going to do. It's most likely coming here. You see the candle push in here, come here, activate this one with a week, and melt down back to this zone. You understand that means it does it didn't break out of the zone it only came inside the zone went up activated this one and melted down like melt down back into this zone showing you that it's it's now valid for that cell you understand so this is where my pending order would likely be for that shot you understand because it's more i, I like being aggressive with my entries more of sniper entries so it will be above this level and overall targets will be this point here yeah? Or first target would be this level here, yeah? more like a one is to a six risk reward. So, but for now, what we should be looking out for is the opportunity that would for that buy that would carry this market actually to this point. You understand? Since we know, okay, overall we are expecting a sell from this point. So, should we just wait and wait and wait and wait, only for it to come to this place? And instead of stopping with the candlestick pattern is still pumping up, we'll be like, ah. See this buy. Had it been I, I, I was in this buy, man. See this buy, and I was here waiting for a sell all this while, only for it to not play out well. You understand? So what you would do is now look for since you are expecting it to go up. How can I like be among those that are really buying this pair that would get to this point? Because this is where we are anticipating it to get to, and it's most likely going to get to this point. So how can I jump in on this trade to enter that buy that will get it at least to this? To this first level so this is that's where we have to come down to the smaller time frame to see where other zones are where market might because market won't just push up except there is maybe a fundamental like news or anything you understand so but for now that the market there's no news to that so for now the market might play out well you understand so where can i see levels where um this market is most likely going to get, going to get to before going up because market don't just go in one direction you do something like this you see something like this in an uptrend actually so that small bullish move on a smaller time frame it's mostly like this you understand so what we should be looking out for on the smaller time frame and this is it here so on the one hour time frame 
this is its own recent low the level weights it did some retracement like it came down and broke out of this is it here yeah? let me draw it very well this is its own point here and this is where market is most likely going to come to before continuing to the upside this is most likely where it should drop to before coming to this point here yeah? this target way so i would put the stop loss below this particular level why because if market fails to hold here then this particular level here this point here is most likely going to hold you understand it's supposed like i might even adjust the stop a bit but it depends on the kind of candlestick that happens here so if the candlestick that comes into this box closes the same way i explained here something like this let me bring this particular one down mm. let me reduce it a bit if it comes into this box and closes with a body inside the box while and a week maybe um, something sorry let me try it well something like this and a week at maybe outside or something like this that first candle that would come into the box actually if it closes with a week like this and the body is still inside this box inside this box not actually outside but if the body is outside this box like a full body candle outside this box then this particular zone won't hold but if it closes with a, a week outside the box and a body inside you understand then it's most likely going to hold you understand that's when i would keep my stop loss reduced to this level yeah and the next candle that comes out would be my entry candle to get to this point but if i actually want to be on the safer side let me still come down to our entry time frame this is the entry time frame yeah if i want to be on the safer side I will only wait because you need to have extra confirmations before taking a trade, you know. So extra confirm confirmation to me would be something like this. When this market comes inside this box, goes, sorry, let me bring this, use this tool, goes back up a bit, you understand? Come down again, comes back to take out this recent high it's created here, like showing me something like a, um, bullish structure you understand taking out this recent high that would actually be an entry for me on um, that immediate break here so the stop loss would actually be on the candle that will break out this zone with a full body candle because with that alone it's showing me more like um a bullish structure because this is mostly what's going to happen a retest goes back you understand and continuing to the upside you understand this is for extra confirmation I'm waiting for this neckline which it will create to break then that would be an entry you understand if you want to be on the safer side you wanted to get more extra confirmation so this is most likely what is going to happen and this thing this kind of pattern happens mostly on the five minute time frame so pay attention to it it happened mostly on this five minute time frame so if it drops here goes back up comes down again maybe this would be where it will go back up to test yeah might be the neckline comes back down going back to break that neckline would be the entry stop loss are below the candle that will break it and then we ride it up to that level where we are anticipating it to get to before that drop sorry before that drop that we are anticipating to on gold so i think that's just it that's just it and um yeah i think that's 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 just majorly it and even if you want to check, there is psychological level close by too. If you want to see, okay, what are the confluences? We have psychological level close by um, at 1925.0. Let me set it real quick. There is one there. <clears throat> there is psychological level close by. This is it here. A level, there is psychological level. And there is a trend line coming from this bottom here. So most of the time you might not see it because I just finished the analysis and you didn't see anything. There is a trend line coming like this. So it's like a first bounce here. It's a come one. So we are anticipating a touch of this level and to ride it way up to this to that point where we are anticipating a drop from. So I think that's that's just major leads. Yeah, I think that's it. Amazing, Tochi. Thank you very much for making this go down from A to Z. Thank you. So if you guys, if you have more questions in the chat box right now, this is a very good time for you to pop it up. 
so that we can get to ask Tuchi. So Tuchi, right now you're saying you should wait for that zone before they start yeah. longing, right? Yes. Okay. okay, amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks. Okay, so no questions for now. If there's any question, please kindly let us know, guys. Let us know. Give us feedback. Ask questions. Let's be sure. He said, I'm in that sell on gold. Okay. Um, I'm selling gold now. Good stuff. I will sell gold at 1938, 1940. So most guys seem to be selling. All right. So most guys seem, yeah. seem to be selling. I just wish I could just bring them in. Do you see sell working out anytime soon? Do you see sell playing out anytime soon? Okay. If there is a sell that should come, it should be that one that should actually bring this market down to this level. That's the one yeah. I'm actually seeing currently on the chat now. The one that will bring gold from this point where it is down to this particular level before any retracement, that retracement to the upside. Okay. All right, thank you very much. So Damian Manza just donated five dollars. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh impressive from Tochi. I mean it's sell already. Okay, good. So for those of you guys that are in on the sale, congratulations because I see this guy is playing out already. Is 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 about to play out. What time frame is on? This is 30 minutes time frame. Can you take it to the 15 minutes time minutes. frame? Can you try the 15 minutes time frame? Okay. Um yeah. Mm, how? Okay, I uh, see you guys are selling. Well, congratulations for those guys that are selling. I see a drop too. To that level, once you get to that level, run away. Uh, all right, thank you very much, Tuchi. I appreciate you for your analysis. Thanks, sir. Thanks sir, for the opportunity. Uh, all right, amazing. So, guys, on GBPUSD, we are back. So, on the GBF, GBPUSD is pretty straightforward. Like, check it out here. I last week, let me recap. I don't want to go further without telling you what has happened last week. Last week, we made a banger like crazy trades. My major money was made last week off of this trade. Remember, I called this trade from this point. Immediately price flashed up to this side. I already knew that, yeah, it's about time. Things are about to go down, right? Price came back up, right? As it made a bearish confirmation. I remember this was on a Wednesday. We are live. I, I, I posted this on my Instagram and I also shared with my team. I was live with my mentorship. You know, I said, cool. So from here, immediately price got here. I told them to sell. They sold here, added another position here, added another position. Immediately price got to this level. Some of them wanted to exit here, but I told them to hold on. The price is going to hit 1.27000. Why? What did I see? Mm, okay, let me not share that here. Come to the mentorship. But you know that there are rejections there, right? Bridge price come to this point. I told them to exit, and that's how I made this profit for last week, Wednesday. Then fast forward the next day. The next day was on a Thursday, and that's 23rd of June. I first had a loss. Because I was expecting a sell from this point. But what happened? Boom. Price moved straight to the upside. So I took my loss, stop loss, gently and easily. I moved on. So immediately we had this fight to the upside. It was a news move. Really, I went short. The price got here. I made back all my losses and even made profit at the end of the day. That's Thursday. So on a Friday, the bang on the last day. Yes, remember me sending this trade. I'm crying and shouting about this trade. It's a sell. It's a sell. Made the price got here from the first high. I held on and price came back up again to give us the second high, which is making a double top, which is like an M pattern. Price got here immediately, and my team guys, we loaded it in on a sell. Then price got to this psychological level again, 1.27000. I hopped out. Now this week is another one again. Now we are currently on a, in on a Monday. The same way we did it last week by setting our high and low of the week. That's the exact same thing I'm about to replicate right now. So in setting high and low of the week, you have to come on a four hour time frame. You check for the first two candles, four hour candles to form for the for the beginning of the week, starting from this where this vertical line starts. All right. So this is candle one. This is candle two. So the lowest of either of these two candles and the highest of either of candle one and candle two. Then if price is able to break above this line, then we are going to be having more buys. If it breaks below this line, we're going to be having more of sales. It's only two things involved. No, sorry, three things can be involved. Then we can be having side the ranging market sideways yeah so that's crazy that's the market is really choppy you can't really make enough money because it is ranging that's if you are trading a trending style okay 
But for those who trade consolidating market, they still make money even when they even make more money when market is consolidating. Because that's a strategy. Ah. Okay, now let's go. I can't really uh I don't want to give you signal so much because I don't know. Today's Monday and price has not moved to one direction. But checking structurally, price should still break down to the downside for itself. GBP USD should be honest structurally, but I don't conclude not until I see that price is actually telling me I am selling before I will join. Why? Because if I join my money, market can go against me more than I can afford to pay. Do you know what I mean? I can't more than I can afford to pay. Market will keep tanking, keep tanking, keep tanking, keep tanking. So I don't want to be stuck in that environment. So that's why I'm telling you guys, hold on. If a poor hour candle breaks up, no, that we're going to do more buys for that week. If it breaks down first, you're going to be doing more sales for that week. Now, the next concept I want to talk about that will help us to catch the next big move for this new week is, please, if you didn't take anything away from this call, take this lesson away. Always know that whenever you're about to catch a trade or trading opportunity, how to think. Remember I said that it's going to be, I'm going to be talking about how to think and how not to think. Always know that in as much as you have 1001 reason why it is going to play out in your or also in your favor also know that it could also be against you if you're thinking it's going to be a sell know that it might as well be a buy too so hence there's a necessity for you to employ proper risk management in fact when you have a very good proper risk management that's when you have a holy grail let me call it that way holy grail because strategy is no holy grail no matter which whosoever professor who propounded this theory and all these things it will back at all it has to oh my huh? sorry now price coming back to any time that i see price go back to this point to me that's for me like an m i'm just telling you what i'm anticipating already uh sharp ones one that's what i mean the sharp guys that start taking advantage so i'm expecting that price come back to this point all right if it comes back to my touch here and then to start dropping here will be my point of entry so as a matter of fact i'm just going to go out there and put my rectangular box and be watching now why would i be watching at that point simple there's a psychological level there of 1.2 there's a psychological level right here check 1.275 that's one conference there's a trend line right here this trend line has touched one. There's a top at that place. Yeah, it has touched one. All right. Touch second time. Touch third time. Then this is the fourth time. This might likely break because in fourth time, my break, but in a stronger trend, it's my retest and go down. So I would love to check it as a retest right here, depending on the candlestick's behavior. So trend line is another confluence. High of the week will be another confluence. You see? Uh huh. And then chart pattern, price moved back here. Yeah, it came straight down. It's gonna move back up, and then boom. That's M pattern. That would happen, or we could say okay, it's a W, something like that. Depending on what happened. So now these are just keep how to think again. First, how not to think. How not to think is oh no, don't worry. It must be a sell. It's a sell. That's how not to think. There's nothing like it must be. This is analysis. You follow the bigger boys, whoever that is ruling the market. These are the guys you want to make friends with. You don't want to be rolling with the smaller guys, all right? So that's why you want to know what the bigger boys are doing at the time, and then you follow through. That's the game of trading. That's the game of business. Trend. You have to follow trend. Now, see, it is the bigger boy that formulates trends too. If you, if, if you just want, just so you know, the bigger boys formulate trends. So, what I mean, the bigger boys in this case, I mean banks, big banks, hedge funds, the speculators. Yeah. I'm bigger boys, not me, not me. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm referring to myself. No, now what would be important to you now is at this point, what is the candlesticks that is printing at this point? Now, if you see a candlestick, now let me show you, let me give you an in depth review on candlesticks. candlesticks formation. Let me show you the type of candlesticks you should be paying attention to. Candlesticks formation, or no, let me do candlesticks pattern. I'll do formation in another class. Let me do candlesticks pattern now. Let me do pattern. 
you just do a simple Google search hmm? and you come to images. I prefer images because we are not newbies. We know what we're looking out for. All right. Uh, oh no, or oh, chat pattern. Chat pattern I want instead. Inside chat pattern, don't get it twisted. Okay, what is the difference between chat pattern and candlesticks formation? Chat pattern is like a housing. Inside chat pattern, there is a candlestick formation. In fact, this candlestick formation that make up chat pattern, but chat pattern is not a bigger form that tells you where price will likely, candlesticks will likely move to the next. Do you understand? Now here are examples of a typical, uh, a typical price pattern. Let me zoom in right here. So can you see? We have bearish, we have bearish, bearish double top, which is what we call M and W. These are the only two patterns. Please kindly know that it's not only M and W that are the only patterns. But one thing I love to do, you guys will know that have been with me for so long. You know, I love to focus on one thing because that's where the profit is for me. That's where the profit margin is. All right. One thing makes the most money. All right. One thing makes the most money. In fact, gently put it this way. Is it or Bruce Lee? Rather, Bruce Lee he said that he said, I do not fear a man that understands 10,000 kicks. Say, I fear a man that has practiced one kick 10,000 times. So that's why I want to beg you if you're on this call, if you want to be successful, except you want to be a professor at it and not, and not make money, you just want to know it and not make money. They are two different things. You can know how to analyze in the market, but you can't make money with it. We have many people doing that already. You don't want to be in that circle. That's a, that's a bad matrix to be at. But if you really want to make money, you're here to make money, right? Just study one pattern. Anytime you see that pattern, shoot. Know when to shoot. And then you take your own bulk of the money and then you call it a day, like I'm doing. So there are many other patterns. We have bearish head and shoulder. We have bearish rising wedge. We have expanding triangle. We even have triple, we have triple top. Uh, understand? Triple top, which is this one that is at the, at the other end. All right? At the other end, this one right here. There are a lot of them. So these are like opposites. You notice that this is for reversal pattern. Now, what are the reversal? What are reversal patterns? Reversal patterns are patterns you find in a continuing trend, like in a at the end of a trend, maybe at the top of a trend. If it was a buy before at the top, then whenever you see this pattern, that simply means market power is about to change and it's about to change from buy to sell. These are reversal. So everything is about to change. So continuation chart patterns are chart patterns you see on your way in a trend. So that time when it pulls back, period of pulling back, it forms a continuation chart pattern. So it could either come in form of bullish flag pattern or pinup or falling wedge or ascending triangle or symmetric triangle. Now you, you, you do not know how to, you don't have to cram all these names. Okay, just as I, you don't have to have all these names in your head, but please and please know how they are being traded. Know how they work. Whenever you see this pattern like that, it's, oh, 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 Jeff told me that uh, a bullish double, a bullish double bottom is for a buy. Oh, this is a this is a bullish inverted head and shoulder. This is this this is telling me to buy. Please, please and please know how to trade them. It is very important. Now, how do you trade this one? I want to take you from here and take it back to the chart so that you guys can clearly understand how it's being traded. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are following me. If you're enjoying this class, just drop number one on the chat box. If you are enjoying the class, drop number one on chat, but just drop number one, type one, type one. Uh, uh, you said this is deep secret you are sharing. I just only, only if they knew, only if the investor PK, you said only if they deep secret. Okay, very blessed, because you guys are with me. People that get to hear me first, these are guys that are probably using 5G. Now imagine, okay, the one one is not here now. What I said since, you guys are just hearing. Upgrade your glue network to 5G. Get a 5G, guys. Get 5Gs. Get 5G. There's no dignity in slow network. There's no, no. Okay, now power. Power. So now let's go. Let's go. If, uh, okay, now let me take it this way. Let's go back to chat. I'm happy that you guys are falling through. You guys are falling through. <laughs> you guys are laughing. <laughs> hey. Now I'm showing you secrets to buy your next bands in another form. I'm not telling you this is how to buy bands because I didn't tag it because I just tagged this live session as live trade. This is how to buy bands. This is how to buy Lambos. This is how to buy Range. This is how to buy Bentley. This is how to buy Bugatti. When you make money off of these things, all right, that's what you're currently learning. So just calm your nerves here, learn what forward, and then you'll be able to hit it really hard. Let's go. Somebody said value. 
amazing. No, 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 no nicer words. Uh, now let me go again. Okay, good. So check. Now we're about to bring what we saw in these patterns to life market. Now it is one thing for you to know these things when they are being drawn in like papers. This will not make you money on 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 Google. It is when you know how to apply them in real market condition like this. Now your question will be like, where is the M right now? Where's the Ws? How do I even support these things? Everything is cut up. That's why you definitely need mentorship. Somebody that will be following you every day, every now and then to show you these are the things, this way is at, and all of that. Now check. Before price takes off to the other side for us it forms a w or an m a w for a buy just as you guys know if it does this thing like boom 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 double bottom for a buy if it does one double top for a sell this is a sell condition now how do you trade it this is a buy how do you trade it simple immediately we as a newbie trader, this is the normal thing to do. Whenever price gets to this neckline, this is what you call neckline, when it form equal high, whenever price gets here, from here, start buying, put your stop loss a little bit below this low, you start buying from here, you buy at this point. This is your buy. All right, you buy here. That's an amateur way. But the fire peep way, the way in our mentorship, how we trade it, we catch it from here. Because we feel that you entry from here is already late entry. You don't know what's happen now. You'll be wondering, how did I know that this is going to be a low? That's how we're able to catch all these sniper entries you're seeing here, all these sniper entries. Wow, this is an M. Let me just do a market, a practical market for you. This is an M, right? So why did we go in here? What did we see? That is where candlesticks formation comes in. Remember, I said that the chart pattern is there, but there's candlesticks formation. So now let me Google candlesticks formation so that you know. These are information that are already available to you guys. Oh, yeah, let me do candlestick. Formation. Candlestick formation will tell you right now, Jeff, is it time for you to be getting in? Candlestick formation. Check. Uh, let me not use this one. Pattern dictionary. Let me use this. I think this one is more comprehensive. More comprehensive. Ah, first, first is so additive that and it's so interesting. Okay, now check. These are candlesticks pattern that you shouldn't be sleeping on. These patterns, you shouldn't be sleeping on them at all. For no reason, you should be sleeping here on this pattern. All right. So we have bullish engulfing. So when I see a bullish engulfing in in a in a W pattern, buy. It's a buy. Now let me show you where that where that happened. Mm -hmm. See, for someone, or when you see, uh, let me break everything down. I don't want to be going back and forth. When you see a morning star in a w buy please note that it's not only w's and m that is the only chart pattern but that's what i do that's the only thing i pay attention to so that's why you'll be seeing me using them to give example from time to time so you can also find out the pair that you trade which type of pattern prints more often but gbp you cannot do without w's and m which is double top and double bottom so anytime you see bullish pin bar for a buy when you see a w at the bottom the second leg if you see a bullish rmi head for a buy at the bottom now the reverse will be the case for sales but bearish engulfing sell evening star sell bearish pin bar sell bearish rmi so the example i'm about to do right now is on a sale example so check which of these three which of these three candlesticks pattern would you be are you currently seeing that that is in that reverse that will make you to want to sell check is it a bearish engulfing evening star bearish pin bar I'm about to show you the example now. The example is right here. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to see sharp guys that are following through. The example is right here now. On this, my last, on this trade that I took on Friday, what made me to take this sell? What can you see reversal? Did you see? I mean, yeah, continuation that made, that made me to enter. Which can you pattern? Can you formation? Which can you Let me go to the chat box. Which can you formation? Someone said I should zoom in. Meanwhile, other people are already answering. You are saying I should zoom in. This is the candle. This one. The second one. This is an M, right? And the question is on this M, this is an M, right? Boom. 
So we're looking for a, a pattern, candlestick formation here now. Which candlestick formation here now would you sell? Bearish and golfing, bearish pin bar. Let me be, let me be listing the, the replies to the bearish, bearish and golfing, bearish pin bar, bearish and golfing, and golfing, evening star. Hey, bearish and golfing, evening star, bearish and golfing, bearish and golfing. Now, some people in this comment section, some have head, but they don't have heart. Some have heart, they don't have head. And that's a big problem. That's a big, I use people missing it up. Now, it's not a bad thing if you miss it today. And so I don't even have the two. <laughs> Somebody said dodgy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go back to the chat again. Let's go. I understand that some of you are pretty new. Let's go back to the chat. Uh, now, can you see this pattern? Can you see this pattern? Which of this pattern looks like that one? Obviously, evening star. Can you see evening star? We have you are going to have a bullish candle, and then that bullish candle that is small, it's not so big, but then it's small in between, then it's indecisive. That shows indecision. And then you have another bearish candle that is very strong, that is taking out both this bullish one and this other one together. Now, where did you see that? So it's here. You see this behavior here. It's very strong here. All right. This is the pattern. Let me remove, let me do less noise and then so that you guys can see. You see, this is the pattern right here. So immediately, as an you don't trader, you see this something like this. It is a shutdown. That's money on the floor. That's money. You should be picking. Even if your mommy told you not to pick money on the floor, this kind of money you should pick. It's illegal. It's legal. You pick it. So anytime I see things like this, I'm, my head is shutting. I'm like, guys on Instagram, you be, better be making money. Open your MetaTrader 4 right now and be making money. Be making money because I'm also, I'm, I'm also, I'm, I'm making my money too. All right? That's how it just simply work. And everybody, you see everybody shouting here and there because they've seen an opportunity. But the reason why you don't see opportunity, you don't even know what is going on. You don't even know what is going on. You don't know what is going on. Ha. No, 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 no. There's a, now, let me show you one more secret again. Let me show you one more secret. <laughs> ah, let me show you one more secret. One more secret before, before I leave. It's a money in trees. Exactly. There are monies everywhere. So what is a money in trees? Money in trees. Uh, <laughs> okay. So whenever you see pattern like this, you see it forms an end pattern. And you see candlestick formation there that is telling you that this is the end. Baba, go in. Go in for short. Your money is short. All right? So that is that. Anna, anytime that you are in, in the market, always ask yourself, what is the chart pattern that this market is printing? One. Second thing, what is the kind of six formation that is printing? What, when, is, when is the market telling you, go, buy? The market speaks. It speaks. It just, it just like you don't listen. If you don't listen, if you are not catching it, then you, you don't listen, you don't understand the language. Okay. It's important to understand that. Let me just take some couple of questions and I'll call it a day. This is how to trade. This is how to trade and how to think. All right. And then I'm not even talking about how many lot size you should be going in when you have this so amount of money. And now it's important. Just remind me next week, I will talk about lot sizing, how buying capacity can help you change your life. How, if, even if you have $100, how you can be doing business of what uh, $100,000 by the power of leverage, what brokers can give to you. Some of you don't know. You think you have to have $100,000 before you can be wealthy in this market. It's a lie. You don't have to. You have to learn what leverage is, what margin is. Now, all these things, you get to speed, you get to fast track it when you're in the mentorship. Now, let me, show, let me talk, tell you a little bit about the mentorship. So if you are pretty new here, you have access to our free Mentorship. Just come to fivepipsfs.com. This will be the landing page. You click on the join free class, then it will bring you here. Join free class, right? Click on join free class. It's a, it's free. You don't have to sign up. Just start learning. The goal is, I want to be able to teach about five million youth internationally on how to trade forex market, how to be financially free through forex market. So the vehicle to financial freedom for us here is forex market. So that's why I put out this free content here. So with this free content. If you are able to really study it and uh, from data and statistics, people that shout, oh, Jeff, I've studied your free content, I'm able to make $50. So it's usually $50 that they're able to make, average of $50 every month. 
So if you're able to make fifty dollars, it is only sensible that you save up and you become a part of the mentorship, and then you can scale how much you're able to earn in a matter of months. So three to six months, you'll be able to learn how to master your emotions. In the mentorship, don't come expecting miracles. No, you, what you are coming to do is to mass is mastery. You're coming to gain mastery of what your strategy you already know. You're coming to know oh. My strategy is not a problem. I'm not, I'm not just collected. Now I have to be calm and collected. You are coming to learn, no, 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 no. I've been doing it the wrong way in terms of lot sizing, risk management, trade management, money management. All right? Some of you mis 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 mismanage funds. You treat Forex as if it's, it's, uh, uh, it's a fraudulent business. No. You have to learn all these things. These are the things you are coming to learn. Now, without too much talk, now, let me take you to the mentorship plan. The mentorship, we have yearly, we have six months, we have monthly. Any one of them that you want. For yearly, this is the price. In Naira, I think this is 300,000 Naira. In, for dollars, this is the price, $225. In Naira, I think this is 169,000 Naira, six months. In, in a dollar, it's like nine dollars, and this is 75,000 Naira. I mean, this is way less than your school fees that you're not using right now. Your school fees, your probably, you're not using it. And this is something that whenever you finish, you start making money instantly if you know what you're doing, man. So I think it's something that you guys should want to hop on. Uh, not too much talk. If you want to do that, you don't have to talk to any agent. Just come to the website, immediately sign up, and then you have uh, someone assigned to you already chatting you up. So if you want to give a call to our customer support, uh, contact on our what on our Instagram, our WhatsApp to also on our Instagram bio, my personal Instagram bio, my TikTok, everywhere you can find me. But please do not send money to anyone claiming to be me because I won't ask you for any money anyways. You can only make payments on the website. Right? Any of our agents you need to always refer you back to the website to go pay. For the mentorship now let's take some more questions and then we'll just call it a day from here bring your questions uh bring your questions bring your questions the, the website is firepipsfx.com you say what is the name of the website okay let me copy and paste for you guys so this is the website now on your on your chat box and i also display those screen for those who will be watching this later that is it firepipsfx.com start out small you don't have to start with a lot of money. Start out small. Check, is it really uh, something that is it for you? Then if it's for you, I know most of you young gains, it's for you, you start. And another advice I love to want to give these days, I love to give this advice, I don't know. There's a particular urge in my heart to just tell you guys. This advice, again, listen, it is not for everybody. You know, everybody cannot be rich. It's not possible. We all cannot be Elon Musk. Yes. There are some people right now that are watching me. You can't be rich. But some people watching me right now, most of you that are watching me right now, all of you, you'll be rich. Everybody in this earth cannot be rich. That's why the advice is not for everybody. And the advice is simple. When you are young, young guy like you and me, take a crazy risk. Take a big risk. As for me, I hate small money. I don't like small money. I, don't, I, don't, I want to take bigger risk because in big risks, there are greater rewards. All right? in big, what am I big risk? It's not selling your father's car. I mean, I buy big risk. It's not doing fraudulent things. So don't get it wrong. What I mean by big risk is, what I mean by big risk is, when you don't have so much commitment, when I mean commitment, you don't have a wife, you don't have kids yet, right at this stage, you can afford to take bigger risk because you don't have so much responsibility, all right? But when you already have that responsibility, now you have to be cautious because you don't you're not only living for yourself now you're living for other other people's life are in your hands right now you see because even if your wife might understand the kids will understand they, they must eat they must pay bills you must pay school fee you must pay for or uh, child support many things you know what is going on right in the world you must pay all these things ah so these are the things that is crucial that you have to take take bigger risk don't play it safe when you're young but when you already have responsibility now you know you now you, know, you now know that ah I must be careful because there are a lot of responsibility on my plate now. I have to be turning things down. Then you have to be careful. But if you're young, please, please calm down. If you're young, take risk. Calm down. Take good risk. Okay, good. Now, for those who want to be a part of... Um, I will be rich. I love this. I love the Allah energy. It is a must. I love this your mindset. It said I will be rich. Yes, you will be rich. You'll be rich. I love this. As far as you are here, it's a commitment because this was broadcasted to over how many people? Almost more than 500,000 people in our social platform. So, but you are here. You made this commitment to be here. So, it's that's a sign. That, that is a sign. So, Shams is currently rectifying his network problem. 
So that's why we will not be able to be on this call. You remember the last time I was having green cheese on his network and we've checked our quality control. We've checked those videos recording over and over. It doesn't suit the standard. So he's working on his network. So by next week, he'll be back with the full force. Uh, for those who are asking for where is Shams, where is Shams, he'll be back pretty soon, guys. Mm, I will never be poor. Hey, Brown put it this way. Say, I will never be poor. I love this mentality. Can I never be poor? So now, guys, uh, since there are no questions, since there are no forex related questions, now I think it's safe for me to call it a day. One thing, last word I want to let you know is be the best or be nothing. That is the mantra for me right now. Be the best or be nothing. Uh, being rich is not an option, it's a must for all of us at this community. And we already have a vehicle to take us there. We are not guessing. We're not just saying vain words. We're not just saying, oh, I'll be rich because other people are saying it. No, we have a strategy to take us there. And we have a vehicle, which is true for us trading. And the strategy that we've already have openly given to you guys to trade the financial markets, all you just have to do is to see down position. And we also have capital to give to you in order for you to learn how to trade too, at consumer trades. Uh, so with consumer, you're able to get capital of up to $400,000 at a time. So let me just show you with you guys how it works. So with consumer trades, if you learn how to trade at fire peep, they are already good. We always advise take an account to consumer trade. These guys are this guys is a company that co-founded to they are willing to give you money up onto four hundred thousand dollars to trade. All right, this money that you're gonna they are a fee that you pay in order for you to take any of these tests. Say, for example, you want to take up the uh five hundred dollars test. I mean hundred thousand dollars test, you need to pay a refundable fee of five hundred dollars. When you pass, this five hundred dollars will be given back to you. They're not gonna take it. We're going to give you back the four nine nine dollars you pay. Any of this amount of money will be refunded to you when you pass. But if you don't pass, the money is gone. All right. But it is true that most people actually fail and they lose their money to the system. But people that are able to pass, they all of them they get their money back. They get start getting up to ninety percent profit split of whatever amount of money you make on top of this capital. This capital is not for you to to keep. We don't give you this capital and then you run away with it. No, you have to trade. And then we share profit. You keep 90 up to 90% of the profit, then the company keeps like uh, 15 to 20, uh, 15 to 10% of the profit. That's how it just basically work. There are other plans. There's express light where you have to only pass one challenge phase and all of that. So please kindly do your due diligence when you get here. Read the rules and make sure you click on rules. Read all the rules, know their do's and don'ts, and all of that. So everything is usually listed in the rules segment. All right. So I believe that's already collected for those that might have questions regarding prop firm trading. So I believe I've been able to cover almost all the questions, sir. Uh, all these questions that, uh, that are here, okay? Uh, amazing. So that'll be all for now. That'll be all for now. Just take it easy, guys, and I'll see you guys on, on, on the brighter side. Same time, same place, next week, Monday. We're going to be doing the same analysis. But for this week, I'm going to let you guys know what my bias will be on the Telegram channel. The links are in the description box. If you want to be a part of our Telegram channel, click on the link. Telegram channel is where we are going to be sending you our signals. We don't send you anything there. We send you our signals, signals in order for you to also make profit while we make profit or make losses while we make losses. And also links to my personal Instagram. You want to follow me up on Instagram to keep up with the lifestyle and the trades that I'm currently taking. How I'm making money, how I'm making losses, how I'm buying things with the money I'm making so that I can serve as a motivation, inspiration for you to also get yours done. We know that we also notice that there are smaller traders that are coming up really fast. I love that piece. Now, if you're that kind of person, just want to network, want to want to reach out to me. I mean, my Instagram is open to you guys. Click on Instagram. Come on, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about being better at whatsoever we do. All right. Until next time. Until next time. See you guys and peace out. Peace.